Welcome to Physics Department, Ho Chi Minh City University of Education. Located in Block B, Physics Department has a number of facilities for to meet the educational and experimental needs of both students and lecturer. The following information will be a brief guide to them. First of all, I would like to introduce the department's office where our academic activity take place. Our department's office has two rooms. The first room shows the working areas of both academics and teaching staff. Our two academic staff include a department secretary who supports students in studies and a department assistant in charge of training activities, administrative procedures, and so on. As you can see, we have desks with printers, scanners, photocopiers, and computers connected to the internet. In physics department, we manage students' activities using specialized software, meeting the requirements of the credit system. Next is the workspace for the lecturers. The lecturers mainly work at the laboratory. However, we still arrange some desks for individual purposes. This area has been equipped with projectors for lecturers to work in groups and organize seminars. Also, in this room, every lecturer has a filing cabinet to receive notices from the department and the university. Although the university has a library with an assortment of reference books, in this room, we still arrange a small bookshelf to support the research activities of lecturers and students. Now we move on to another room. This is a room for the department board. In this room, we have three working desks for dean and two vice deans. And as you can see here, we also have printers and computers connected to the internet. All of them meet the demands of work. As you leave the department's office, we like to take you on a tour to different physics laboratories run by our department. Let's start with mechanics and thermal physics lab. The first laboratory where physics teacher education students conduct their experiments during their study at Ho Chi Minh City University of Education. Here, every year on average, there are more than 80 students who take general physics lab 1. Students will practice performing 10 experiments, including 9 experiments directly related to the courses of mechanics and molecular and thermal physics. There are 6 experiments set up on mechanics and the other 3 related to molecular and thermal physics, including the following Maxwell's wheel, determinations of surface tension coefficient of a liquid, investigation of elastic and inelastic collisions on an air track, Verifications of the Lord of Conservation of Linear Momentum Investigations of the properties of the force oscillation Determinations of the wavelength and the speed of sound using standing wave method Determinations of accelerations of gravity with the physical pendulum Determinations of the viscosity of the liquid by Stokes method Determinations of the heat capacity ratio of gases and investigations of the equations of the ideal gas state. The general physics lab 1 will help students understand and deepen their knowledge in mechanics and molecular physics and heat, and at the same time help students form and develop the competencies in physics and in experiments by and large. Coming up next, Electromagnetism Optics Lab. This is one of the three main labs of the general physics divisions and is one of the nine labs of physics department. This lab is equipped with experimental instruments and apparatuses for teaching experiments for students and supporting lecturers and senior students to do research. Its major function is to teach general physics lab 2 for third year students of physics teacher education program of physics department and general physics lab for students from chemistry department. Each year, we teach around 80 to 100 students in this lab. Doing experiments in this lab helps students develop their experimental competencies, including learning how to install and design experiments, how to measure and collect data, and how to analyze the results of the experiments. Besides, students are able to connect and apply theories in explaining the experiment. These purposes meet the requirements with the learning outcome of the program and make a guarantee for the future career in the real teaching of free service teachers. 
Students gain experience of doing experiment through obtain experimental lessons related to the knowledge of optics and electromagnetism courses that they already learned in the previous semester. Particularly, four electromagnetism experiments are measuring the resistance by Winston Bridge, measuring the dynamic power of a DC source based on a congestion method, measuring the Faraday constant and electron charge based on electrolyte of copper sulfate solution. One experiment with a combination of DC current and AC current to investigate the IV raft of the light bulb and RLC circuit with AC source. Five optics experiments and one geometry optics experiment to determine the focal length of concave and convex lenses in different methods respectively. There are three wave optics experiments including interference of light by observing Newton ring system through typical microscope to determine the wavelengths of different LED light sources. Experiment about the diffractions of light by a rating to observe the spectrum of mercury light source and determine the wavelength of a certain chronomatic light. And a quantum optics experiment to determine Planck's constant. Now let's take a look at the next laboratory, High School Physics Lab, located on the first floor of Block K. It is primarily used for teaching general physics experiments and micro teaching practice or professional training activities such as presenting physics lessons, making teaching tools. Besides, students often use the room for practicing teaching physics and using the board effectively. The room is also used for students to refine their bachelor thesis each year. Lecturers also use the room to do research or other activities such as organizing oral exams or holding classroom activities. This lab is equipped with standard apparatus necessary in high school physics curriculum. It also houses 3D printers which are essential for recreating their own teaching materials. And here is the interactive board which is currently a common high-tech teaching device in high schools in big cities like Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Therefore, in preparing pre-service teacher for such a device, Ho Chi Minh City University of Education features an interactive board system for students to practice, design and deliver lessons effectively. The high school physics laboratory is designed and invested exclusively for high school physics experiments course in physics education major. This course is taught to junior students in the sixth semester. The room features a full system of high school physics experiments from grade 10 to 12, corresponding to high school physics curriculum. These experiments are set up into seven lessons, mechanical, thermal, electrical, and optical contents. The course is designed to help students achieve a number of targets in academic knowledge and skills. The following are seven lessons which students have to finish throughout the course. Lesson 1 is about determining acceleration in uniformly accelerated linear motion on the inline plane and in the free form. Lesson 2 is about static equilibrium experiment, including determining the spring constant, verifying the principle for net force of intersecting forces and parallel forces, and verifying the equilibrium condition for rigids of fixed axis and unfixed axis. Lesson 3 consists of experiments for verifying conservation laws and measuring coefficients of static kinetic friction. Lesson 4 is about thermal content. The experiments are for determining the coefficient of thermal expansions of metal, observing some surface tension phenomena and measuring the surface tension of water. Lesson 5 includes experiments about direct current and alternating current. Lesson 6 are experiments about electromagnetic induction. Lesson 7 consists of experiments in optics. The lab experiments offer students the opportunity to get updates on modern teaching facilities and gain experience for future careers. We then proceed to telescope room. The telescope room is 4 meter 2 on the top of the 5th floor, building J with a mobile roof on both sides. The telescope system includes 1. A reflective telescope Takahashi C and 212 with an objective 22 cm 5 diameter, focal length 2 m 65. 2. Takahashi refractive telescope is in a form of tube SS78 by the length with an objective diameter of 12 cm. 
focal length 63 cm. The two telescopes are mounted onto equator EM200 that can be controlled mentally or controlled by Telescope Tracer 2000 software using PC. The telescope system is used for students to do thesis or to organize observational learning. Next, we're visiting Computational Physics Laboratory, which is located on the fifth floor of Building C. It was established in 2018 for two main purposes. To serve the research demands of lecturers in the fields of atomic and nuclear physics and theoretical physics, and to satisfy training demands such as graduate thesis, student scientific research, master's thesis, and doctoral thesis. To reach these goals, Computational Physics Laboratory is equipped with two computational systems. Welcome to the Electrical Engineering Laboratory. The lab contains experimental instruments and apparatuses to teach students about electrical networks, transformers, motors, as well as rules of using electricity safely. There are three sets of experiments corresponding to three lessons of electrical engineering course. First is symmetrical and asymmetric three-phase circuits. This helps students learn how to view start and triangle circuits, learn the relationship between phase and line voltages, or phase and line electric intensity in each circuit. The circuit is connected by pre-made wires and quantities are measured with digital ammeters and voltmeters of the circuit. Next are experiments with transformers. This phase helps students understand the operation of transformer in the loaded, unloaded, and short circuit state. The output voltage is adjusted by variac. Last is three-phase induction motor with squirrel case rotor, which gives students a chance to investigate the characteristic of motor when it starts and measure the starting electric intensity in different opening modes, thereby choosing a safe opening mode. And here is Radio Electronics Laboratory located beside High School Physics Lab on the first floor of Block K. This is where students learn about electric components and practice assembling basic electronic circuits boards. The lab is about 53 square meters high, divided into three main areas, electric component storage, experimental areas and workplace for lecturer. The room is equipped and designed exclusively for taking four experiment lessons in Radio Electronics course. Lesson 1 is about oscilloscope. Oscilloscope is the most important device in the lab and used for all experiments. Students will learn how to use the oscilloscope to observe and determine the effective voltage and frequency of an AC signal from a 6V AC power. Here, a student is observing and adjusting the amplitude of the sine signal by buttons on oscilloscope. It is also used with frequency generator for frequency determination using the laser tubes method. Lesson 2 is about rectifier circuits. Students will learn about semiconductor diodes and rectifying effect of diodes. They will assemble circuits to investigate half cycle and full cycle rectification. This is test board and components including diodes, resistors for examining circuits. Lesson 3 and 4 is about amplifier circuits and oscillator circuits respectively. This lesson will introduce transistors and amplification property of these components. Students will assemble circuits as a diagram in lessons. The components include transistors, some type resistors and capacitors. This is the Advanced General Physics Lab. This lab is divided into two separate areas. The first half, which is internet connected and equipped with air conditioning and light and sound system can accommodate up to 50 students, is thus used for teaching and learning purposes. The second half of about 500 square meters serves as a laboratory for the Advanced General Physics Lab module. This is one of the elective courses in the curriculum of the physics teacher education. The tools and equipment in this room are completely imported from famous foreign school equipment manufacturers such as Pascal, Fever, Label, 3B Scientific. 
Students are allowed to perform experiments related to the content learned in some previous modules such as hiking principle, the phenomenon of reflection and refractions of water waves, interference and diffraction phenomena of water waves, diffraction of helium and neon laser light through a narrow slit. We test the law of conservation of momentum on an air cushion, determine the moment of inertia of a solid by means of oscillation, Michelson interferometer, the speed of light measure with an extremely short pulse of reflected light, the magnetic field caused by a pair of Helmholtz coins. We also arrange a part of the area for electrical and electronic manipulation, 3D printers, and electronic circuit milling machines for lecturers and students who want to do scientific research or graduation thesis. Students can register to use the tools and machines in this room whenever they are in need. This is the nuclear physics laboratory. The lab is equipped with experimental instruments and apparatuses to teach students scientific research, etc., such as gamma spectrometer, single channel, and multi channel, total alpha and beta spectrometer. Based on the knowledge learned about nuclear physics, we build a practical curriculum that focuses on promoting independence of thinking, creating, development skills for students. In addition, most of the lecture focus on exploiting, improving, and enhancing new equipment features with graduate thesis topics, master thesis, and scientific research. This is revised and investigates the laws of graduation attenuation by distance. The equipment system is newly developed and manufactured by students and lecturers of the laboratory. The system allows us to use mobile software and operate to receive results by Wi-Fi. This is a single channel detector with sodium iodide crystal. This detector is used to detect the level liquid inside tube. The system uses sodium iodide detector to record radiation emitted from a radioactive source. The equipment system helps students understand and apply previously learned knowledge as well as practical application of radiation equipment. Besides, the single channel sodium iodide detector is also used to assign practical anxiety for undergraduates and graduates at departments of physics. The total alpha and beta counter includes machine, namely UMF and Red Eye HEC. These devices are used to teach graduate students of the departments of physics. Exercises currently using this system devices are to verify the gauss and poison distribution. In addition, equipment systems are also implemented in scientific research projects. Gamma Red Equipment System is a multi channel gamma spectrum recording device using sodium iodide detector. Current exercises on this system include building energy calibration curves, investigating the law of decline in total energy peak, and recording efficiency by distance. In addition, the equipment system is also used for many other scientific researches. This is the end of our tour. We hope we get a clearer picture of our department's activities in both education and research. Thank you.